So we are back to the partition concept and its norm. Uh, in the previous video we saw that uh, the norm of a partition um, P the norm of a partition P, P is the length of the largest uh, sub interval of P and is denoted by norm of P for instance in this interval here divided into three intervals this one will be the bigger one so the norm of P here will be this length and as we was uh, seeing uh, uh, P prime being finer than P so P is a subset of P prime um, it implies that the norm of P prime will be smaller than P and that's why we say a refinement of a partition a, ref a refinement of a, a refinement of a partition decreases its norm but the converse does not uh, necessarily hold as we will see so now I would like to to go directly into the definition of the Riemann um, Stilts, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm not saying Riemann Stilts integral. I'm sorry if I'm not saying this this name any correctly. I I really don't know how to pronounce it. And usually it is known as the Riemann integral or integration. Riemann Riemann integration. Okay, so P will be P is a partition. So the interval will be divided into many points till x n, x naught, x one to x n. This will be a partition of the interval a b. And okay, let p be a partition of this interval a b. Partition into all these points. And let TK be a point belonging, a point in the interval x k minus 1 x k. Um, If we take a sum in this form, so sum of the partition, the function alpha will be the sum from k1 to n, f of tk, variation alpha k, as we have seen. This is going. To, this is called a Riemann stilts Riemann stilts sum. Now we say Riemann stilts sum of f with respect to alpha. Riemann stilts sum of f in respect to um, alpha. We say f is Riemann integrable with respect to alpha on AB, of course, on AB, we say F belongs to on AB. That's, that's the way we write in mathematics. So we say um, F is a Riemann integrable with respect to alpha. This R stands for Riemann. It's Riemann integrable in respect to alpha on AB and okay but now I'm going to give the I have to, I have to change um, I'm going to rewrite what I just said F is Riemann integrable with respect to alpha on AB F is Riemann integrable in respect to alpha on 
AB. We say this if there if there is a number A. So we say this if there is a A with the following property. For all positive epsilon, there is a partition epsilon of AB. For all positive epsilon, there is a partition epsilon of AB such that for every partition, I'm going to write it, for every partition P finer than P epsilon and for every choice of points TK in XK minus one to XK in this interval we have we have some Bf alpha minus alpha smaller than epsilon. Okay, so this we say we say f is Riemann integrable with respect to alpha on a b. Um, if there is a number a a certain number A, and the A will be here, if there is a A, um, with a, the following property. For all positive epsilon, there is a, a partition epsilon, a partition of the interval AB, such that, such that for every partition P, for every partition P, finer than P epsilon, a partition even finer than this particular partition epsilon, and for every choice of point TK in the interval, in XK minus 1 XK, we have this, a sum minus alpha will be smaller than that uh, positive uh, epsilon. Okay, so when such a number A exists and it is uniquely determined and is denoted by integral from A to B, F of D alpha. So if this number A exists, then we say integral from A to B of F D alpha. Or we can also write from A to B F of X D alpha X. So we say that the Riemann Stilts integral, um, or, or we can say the Riemann Stilts integral from A to B of the function F exists. Uh, here, the, the function f and the function alpha, mind there is a function here, alpha of x, uh, f and alpha, f and alpha, are referred to be the integrand and the integrator, respectively. Okay, so if alpha x, is, if, if alpha x is x, if alpha x is x, then we write s of partition function simply, instead of the integral, etc. So, and 
So the, the simple notation will be the integral from a to b f dx or from the integral from a to b of f of x dx and of course this last two might be the, the form you are used to. Uh, so the numerical value the numerical value of this integral is going to depend only on the function f. It does not depend on anything else. Okay? So this x, this x here is the, well, this x here, this x here is a, can, can be replaced. Okay? It can be dy. Too. It doesn't have to be dx necessarily. Okay? Um, there are many other definitions of the Riemann Stilts integral. Okay, this is one of them, but we will uh, we will get to another one uh, later.